Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Contenders Football 6 box half case pick your team number 5 from a fresh case right here as well. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action on a Thursday the 13th. Ron Hollins, Last Spot Mojo Bengals, there's everybody else. Thanks everyone for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. I think that last contenders, the second half of this case, and our last break of the night, still at Bills left, $44.99. So I'm sure that will happen by the time I'm done with this. There's contenders, football. Let's pop this baby open. Let's see what we got. Remember, Randy, everything else after Contender 6 will break tomorrow. And that also includes Optic Basketball as well. We just ran out of time. This is a, this is a mess. There we go. We've got 6 on the left side, 6 on the right side. Let's roll it and randomize and see which side we're going to do. We're going to choose this die right here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do this side right here. This side we will save for next time. Put little green squigglies right here. So green squigglies. So we'll save this for pick a team at six. Which just has the bills left. All right, five autographs, including one on-card autograph per box. And Lou says six is officially sold out. Great. As anticipated, it's officially sold out, correct? So the break credit is officially on. So after this, we will do a one box break of Obsidian Soccer. After that, we will do the second half of Contenders Football. Then we'll get all the names gathered together for the break credit promo. We'll give away some money and then we'll call it a night. Everything else will break tomorrow. So thanks everybody, what a jam-packed day. Don't forget to, um, speaking of football, don't forget to pre-order your plates and patches teams tonight. That drops tomorrow. In fact, we just added two fresh cases. So if you missed out on your teams in the first four cases, case five and six, I don't think there's barely any teams taking case five and six. So get into the action. Thank you, everyone. All right. All right, first autograph is going to be Marvin Jones Jr., NFL Inc. That will go to... That's going to go to Aaron Salinas and the Lions. Ooh, look at this. We don't see too many of these. Rookie ticket autograph, clear. Four out of ten, Marquise Hollywood Brown. That's for the Ravens. Robert Mancini with that. Nice. How cool is that? Pretty uh, dynamic receiver. We'll do, uh, I know these are the same teams, but we'll do top-bottom randomizers for these. So just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze through these. I know, Stephen Cohen's like, no, I got him in the second half. It's, no, don't worry, Stephen. There's nine more of those. We'll find you the other one. Yeah, 
Isn't there a, what about a Lamar Jackson veteran autograph? There's Pat Tillman, nice. Cardinals. Nice, actually, let me set this aside on this side over here. Do you have the Rams? No, you don't. Serenity has the Rams. There's Ugo Mati for the Seahawks. That'll go to Justin Pattison. And another Seahawk, Travis Homer. I guess there's a couple more autographs left. Travis Homer, 15 out of 99 playoff ticket autograph for Justin. And the die cut autograph, Jay Sternberger, 74 out of 87 for the Green Bay Packers, Kyle Hoover. In many parts of the United Kingdom, and possibly Australia, Kyle Hoover, they don't call it uh, they don't call it vacuuming. They call it hoovering. Ha <laughs> there you go, Kyle. Nice one. Kyle saying my last name sucks. I get it. I see what he did there. Next box, next five autographs. First is Wino. There it is, Cracked Ice Wino, 12 out of 23. That's Karen Steele with the Patriots. Karen back in the action with the Pats. Nice Wino. That's what it says, Wino. Nice one, Karen. Back to her winning ways. Any guesses on this redemption for bragging rights? I forgot who the redemptions were in this contenders. We got Amari Cooper. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph to 99. No, it won't, Card Blasters. All other breaks will fill that fill tonight will go tomorrow. We just ran out of time. Julian Love, New York Football Giants. That goes to Matt. Matt Gambino. It's a good time to get some love. Near Valentine's Day. Damien will, I guess, Valentine's Day for a lot of people already. Almost on the East Coast. That's for the Bengals. Last spot mojo, Ron Hollins. There's Dexter Williams for the Packers. Kyle Hoover, rookie ticket autograph. And the redemption, Edward guessing uh, Miles Sanders. It's Paris Campbell. Rookie ticket variation, Paris Campbell. That goes to the Colts, TJ, with the Colts. We'll always have Paris, TJ.
for 49ers. I'm not just here to be the token emo. I'm here to help us win. The surface of rest right. helps me get what's in my head and get out on the field. Next one. Next box. Joseph D. Buckeyes, he's saying. What is Paris Campbell a, a Buckeye? Buckeyes are poisonous, from what I understand, unless you boil them properly. Something like that. After this box, we'll be halfway through this half case break. We've got a couple other breaks lined up, so I want to try to move through this a little more quickly than what you may be used to. NFL Inc. Devontae Parker. 172 out of 199. That'll go to the Miami Dolphins. Jared with the Dolphins. And wow. Another clear autograph. 7 out of 10. That's our second one of the break. Ryan McGregor with the Arizona Football Cardinals. Wow. Kyler Murray, your offensive rookie of the year. Woo! There you go, Ryan. We have a hot case here, maybe? Uh-oh. What show is this? I mean, this is a family show. We may not want to have this Harry Potter sh show on TNT. Miracle Workers is the, is the show. Should we watch Rugrats, followed by Rocco's Modern Life? That's a classic. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Let's go with let's just go with some some sports center. It's, it's easy. Those clear autographs. I know everyone's not a fan of those acetate clear autograph type ones, but I, I like them. I think they look sharp. There's Aaron Jones. He had a great season. Championship ticket to ninety nine. And it looks like we've got points right here. That'll be randomized to one person in the break. If there's more than one of those points cards, winner take all. Travis Fulham is your next autograph. Rookie ticket auto for the Detroit Lions. That's going to go to Aaron Salinas. Ooh, Stephen Cohen with a bold prediction. Kyler is going to win a Super Bowl in the next five years. I would love that. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. Andrew with the Redskins, 76 out of 99. Next five years. What would have to happen for that to happen? I mean, that's a tough division. I think Rams, even though they stumbled last year, I think Rams will still be good for a little while. Yeah, Josie's right. They do need a lot of pieces. Is it possible? Elliot says they're going to be ben Murray's going to be benched before then. I mean, one good thing is that they're all in on Kyler Murray. So whatever they build. 
they know they're building around Kyler Murray and catering to his skill set, which is kind of what they did with Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. They had a great regular season. But, I mean, pigs will be flying, flying, says Brian Peebles. Within five years? I don't know. Three years ago, if I said the the Rams will reach the, well reach the Super Bowl, people would I think people would have said we were crazy that I was crazy if I said that. Especially during the Jeff Fisher era. So that turnaround is possible. A lot of parity in the NFL, which allows for some surprises to happen. Yeah, right. They didn't win it. That's why I hesitate. I was like, well, they didn't win it. Stephen Cohen saying that they're going to win a Super Bowl in the next five years. So Brian Peoples reaching the Super Bowl in five, does that sound a little less crazy in your opinion? I don't know. That, that, that team needs a lot of work, though. I don't know what their cap situation is or anything like that, but... I mean, they got to have receivers. Larry Fitzgerald's not getting any younger. I'm not sure if Andy Isabella or Christian Kirk or any of those guys have have really, you know, have really emerged as a potential number one receiver. Yeah, David Johnson, who was saying that? Someone said that earlier. David Johnson fell off. Yeah, Josie was saying David Johnson fell off a little bit. They got to get a running game going. It's Gary Jennings Jr. I mean, their defense isn't very good. They got to clean that up. They got a lot of work to do, and they're in a tough division. I like Kyler Murray a lot, but Super Bowl, bold prediction. That's a hot take, though. That's pretty spicy. I like the boldness, Stephen Cohen. Hey, listen, for the hobby, I would love for that to happen. Oh, it's a winning ticket, Ray Lewis, 75. Yeah, guys like this has to have to really emerge as a pass catching threat. It's Marcus Green. Yeah, Sean, we are we are we are full for the night. That goes to the Eagles. That'll be for Josh Proust. Looks like we've got a die cut autograph. That's David Long, twenty seven out of forty one for the Rams. That's going to go to Serenity with the Rams. Travion Williams, and even if the Cardinals do improve like that, then you got to think: Well, do the how the, are the Rams going to fall off that significantly? Seahawks are always tough. The Niners have to, you know, Ron Holland's with the Bengals, by the way. You know, the Niners had a great season, so you have to expect them to fall off. There's Devlin Duck Hodges for the Steelers. Arthur Hackett with the Steelers. So that's a tough division too. All right, two boxes left in Pick Your Team 5. JMS in the house thinking team to watch out for the Redskins. A lot of upside with the Redskins. That could be very that could be an interesting team too. They've got a pretty decent defense. Run defense anyway, front like defensive line I guess with Ryan Kerrigan up front. You know, Dwayne Haskins could be a guy. Terry McLaurin looked great. And if Darius Geis could stay healthy, they got a decent running game there too. So they've got they've got some pieces in the in the quote unquote skill position area. Stephen Olson says Carolina doesn't have anything in this product. Yeah, did you check the checklist? I think that's why the Carolina Panthers were a little on the. This is Will Greer, and that's about it. A little bit on the cheaper side relative to the other teams. Elliot, you don't collect a lot of top dynasty. Yeah, I think I think there there are players that have that often have different variations. 
either photo variations or something like that. So there could be multiple out of tens for the same player in products like that. Right, right, right. I forgot, keep forgetting about that, Sean Corbett. Yeah, and Edwards right too. Redskins could add Chase Young, so that's another pass rusher along with Ryan Kerrigan, you know. And Sean reminded me, coach, they got a good coach too. All right, Snell, yeah, Benny Snell Jr. Yeah, Elliot, so yeah, those are two different variations. One is deeds and the other is decoration. So those are two different cards. All right, that goes to Arthur Hackett and the Steelers. Yeah, so if this guy could ever stay healthy, it could be. But the Redskins could be interesting. Josie's saying skins problems are the owner and the GM. Well, maybe they could they could win in spite of that. Jordan Reed to ninety nine. Speaking of the Redskins, checklist is only patch auto. Hmm, that I don't know why why that would be different, but. But decoration and deeds are two different cards, pretty much. So they'll be, they could be out of tens for both of those, for the deeds and for the decoration. Stanley Morgan Jr. Tanner Hudson goes to the Buccaneers. That'll be for Trevor Jacobs, and Stanley Morgan Jr. goes to Last Spot Mojo. Ron Holland with the Bengals. And JMS is saying. And another bangle, Travion Williams for Ron. Nice, Ron. Good last spot mojo pickup. JMS saying the skins are in a soft NF N NFC East. The Eagles fans here would disagree with that. All right, redemption is Devin Bush is second for the Steelers. That's going to go to Arthur Hackett and Pittsburgh. Rookie ticket autograph. Lost control of that top loader for a second. Got to be careful with the rock. All right, last box. This has been a pretty solid half case so far. Second half coming up after the Obsidian Soccer break, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now Josie has a hot take for us. Patriots go sub 500 next year. Is this with or without Brady? Wow. I, that, that is a hot take. He says either way. With or without Brady. Sub 500. Who's taking those wins? I mean, they play the Dolphins and the Jets. Oh, no, mute us, Edward. You got to mute us. You lower the sound. <laughs> mute us for the next five minutes when Scott Van Pelt finishes the highlights. Listen, they, they, I mean, two wins, for the do two wins from the Dolphins. Two wins from the Jets. That's already four right there. And then you stumble into another four wins. Snell, yeah. Benny Snell Jr., another on-card autograph for Arthur Hackett. Yeah, Elliot's a Jets fan. He says still, the Patriots will win the division. I mean, Bills are definitely a threat. But I think between the Dolphins and the Jets, I think there's... There's some, as close to 
automatic as you can get. At least for now. Although, they, they've had some weird games when they go into Miami, but... I don't know what their schedule is going to be like next year either. There's Alvin Kamara. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I guess they do. Rich says, Brady's wife did a spell. Is she a sorcerer? Remember, remember in Frozen? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. That's uh, Eli Manning, 75. Hall of Famer. There's Kalen Saunders. Rookie ticket autograph. Is he still on the team? Does he get a ring? I don't know if you saw on the roster. We got Raquel Armstead, Jacksonville Jaguars autograph, going to Riley. Riley with the Jags. We got Karen Higdon, rookie ticket autograph for the Texans. John H. with Houston. And we got more points. That'll be added to the points pile. Winner take all on the points. That replaces the autograph. Let's do a couple randomizers. All right. So we'll do top bottom on those round numbers cards. And everyone from Ryan down to Andrew and everybody in between has a shot at the points. Winner take on the points. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. Top cards will get them after five times. One and a four, five times for the points. One, two, three, four. And a one. Fifth and final time after five times. Name on top is going to be Trevor Jacobs. There you go, Trevor. You've got 650 points going your way. There you have it. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.